last two games we played of Cookie Run Kingdom. Thoughts, everybody? Yeah. It's fun. I'm very bad at it, but it's fun. I think I'm worse. You better than No, I'm... it's because like you did I tried to do what you did the first game and it... And I but I watched you do that and then thought <laughs> It'll work for me. <laughs> It'll work for me. <laughs> there's just, it's just dice. It's because there's multiple ways you could, like... Well, it, and, yeah. And, uh, and you only have so many cookies. But towards the end of the game, I was like, I'm going for a two-thirds chance of victory here. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not good enough. Yeah, I didn't no. gamble it's, at all. No, yeah, that's that not good round, enough. I didn't roll the dice once. Any dice. Yeah, I didn't, I yeah. Didn't yeah. 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 All yeah. game, right? All game. Yeah. Yeah. Last game. No. Combat no. seems like it's really nice for gaining early coins, but, like... Late game, it's just a big risk. Yeah, but yeah, I like, you gotta be stacked yeah. with your cookies. Yeah, if you've got everything, then if you're going for like the big stuff, like the if, big dragons oh, and the cake, yeah. which because you get like five and four yeah, victory yeah, points, that's nice. and if, a pillar, like ooh. if that landmark yeah. is out that gives you a victory point for every three monsters, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I would have had three victory points with that, yeah. plus whatever it was worth. Right, you know, right. Would have been something. You pissed R and Jesus off, yeah. and he is yeah. not having it. <laughs> Man, I should have done the balloon dock. <laughs> I went and got more coins for my trouble. <laughs> it's with no downside. <laughs> I get it I feel bad for you, but it's also funny. It's fine. <laughs> I, I I am here to entertain. It's crazy. It's a good game. I think yeah, this is a joy. very solid, fun game. Little worker placement. It's, yeah, it's a solid little. Uh, would you call this a Euro game, no. Dustin? I, I yeah, yeah Euro, Euro light game is like a point salad. Like you could retheme this. With yeah, whatever. Point yeah. salad where the theme doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah. Uh, limited player interaction. There's enough player interaction in this game that. It's not too Euro for me. Right. Yeah. And that's the worker placement coming in yeah. and like being able to take spots yeah. from people, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I actually enjoyed this a lot more than uh, uh, the zoo game we played. Ark Nova? Ark Nova, Oh, yeah. this is... This is miles above Ark Nova. This is way beyond Ark Nova for me, too. Yeah, yeah. I, would, th I hated that game. This yeah. is like... <laughs> it reminds me a lot of, of Dune Imperium, which is an incredible game. Uh, but this is like... A step below that, you know, in okay. terms of yeah. like worker placementy. Uh, but I like, I like that. I think this is a really fun, solid game. There's a, there's a couple of different avenues to go for for the win. Uh, and yeah, we all kind of played it a little differently each time too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and got the same results. But you know, <laughs> you know, you know. No, I'm, I'm, I went one above, one, one third you instead of four of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did significantly. Some people learned the second, oh. second game. Uh, <laughs> I didn't learn no, it's now. yeah, it's it's a really fun game, and I I the components are all nice, high quality. Dustin was yeah. commenting before the show on these are heat printed. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ooh. It's not dice. just stickers on. Yeah. So like oh yeah. These are not coming off. It's the yeah. same with the the meeples. Wow. They're not. The they're, meeples. They're not yeah. stickers. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. So that's not like, that's yeah, not no, going that's on. Really nice good. and yeah. sturdy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Components are good. Yeah. And I and I didn't go beyond like the bare minimum on the Kickstarter pledge. So this is the base yeah, game. Nice. Like, awesome. There's a lot here. There's yeah. premium upgrades of some sort that that uh, you may or may not mm -hmm. still be available if you missed out on the Kickstarter. Uh, we also because because we did the Kickstarter, oh, yeah, we got a couple here. of extra cookie minis that don't affect the gameplay at all. Uh -huh. yeah. Also came with these uh, little reference cards oh, that I yeah. I don't think these are included in the base game. I think mm -hmm. this was a these Kickstarter ad a, a, a freebie. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. that's kind of cool. If yeah. I think if you're a Cookie Run Kingdom fan and you're a board game fan, it's worth picking up. I don't know how much of a crossover there is on that Venn diagram, but. Yeah. Uh, look how cute the little sugar gnomes yeah, are. Yeah. If you just like cute stuff too, and you're looking for a fun, chill board game, I mean, this one's easy to learn. Yeah. Plays pretty quick. Uh, it's got a lot of depth and strategy to it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I would actually like to see like some sort of like expansion to to increase the difficulty or add some like player powers to like these cards. Yeah. That's like some sort for of the, or for the cookies. Asymmetrical. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I'm saying. So, so, so you have you get you starter cookie, cookie and or then when you, even these guys. And then too. when you add new cookies, they give you new. 
player yeah, that would be yeah. cool. That'd be yeah. interesting. I'd be yeah. interested. And okay. and with that expansion, you got to include more cookies. Yeah, you have to have yeah. extra cookies. Because I chose the the Frost Queen cookie, and and like it'd be nice if she did something, but like right, she's also right. really cool. Yeah. So. Like I want to place my cookie out on here to like give me bonus gold or make it easier or like restrict somebody from like mm -hmm. like maybe just take up a spot or something. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Just some some cool little mechanics like that to add some asymmetry to it. Yeah, that would be oh, cool. Yeah. Which, I, I would love that. If you play the, the mobile game, like normally your little sugar gnomes get to do stuff, but you can assign cookies to do stuff too for like building things mm -hmm. and stuff. Oh, so yeah. that'd be a good crossover. Oh, yeah. yeah right? Oh yeah. Just, like, if, yeah. if they added like a separate, a yeah. second track where I could spend my cookies to do this, but then I don't have them for yeah, combat exactly. power. Right. Yeah. Right. That'd be smart. That'd be yeah, cool. that would be cool. I would. I would love to see that. I probably. Could you want call us? Probably yes. heavily <laughs> dependent on how well. This one sells. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did so the Kickstarter do good? It did quite well. Yeah, All right, the Kickstarter did, did definitely went well beyond their their minimum goal for sure, uh, mm -hmm. and got definitely a few stretch goals. I think that's where these came from. Yeah, they're so cute. So. Nice. Yeah. Hey, thanks for hanging out. If you want to spend more time with us, do us a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, head on over to twitch.tv slash bnbtabletop and give us a follow there. We play board games live every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time on a show we call The Board and Barrel. And we like to keep things interactive. You guys can influence what happens throughout the course of a game with our buff and nerf house rules. You can also make predictions on how things are going to pan out, play virtual bingo for a chance to win a free board game of your own, and heckle us and stuff from the chat. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you Sunday night.